Hello, and welcome to In the Studio. I'm your host, Martha Teeter, and today we're going to be talking about the Aggie Reuse Center, as you see the banner back here. And I want to introduce you to my guests, Mukia Haleen, over here, and Lauren Kabantek in the middle, and Vivian Lay over here. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming. I think that folks are going to be really excited about the things we talk about today. Well, tell me a little bit about the store, about the Aggie Reuse store. Mm -hmm. um, thank you for inviting us here today, Martha. Aggie Reuse store, we are a thrift shop on campus at UC Davis. Mm -hmm. We sell clothing, accessories, upcycled, repurposed items, craft supplies, and much more. And we also hold craft workshops and outreach, outreach events throughout the year. Wow, great. Yeah, we're open Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. So um, it's open to the public. Not just students can come, but also members from the Davis community and any visitors um, on the campus. Excellent. And also, um, we're entirely student run. And one of our major components of our program is our upcycling component. And upcycling is basically the act of taking something old and turning it to something of higher value. And so students take um, our donated supplies and turn them into a decoration that we use to decorate the store, mm -hmm. as well as things that could be sold as well. Great. I believe we have some slides that give a little bit of a tour of the, um, of the Aggie Reuse Center. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's see if we can check out a little bit of those. So what's this here? That's... Okay, so that's our storefront. We have um, clothing items outside as well as some houseware and bags that are also located outside. Um, generally, we also have our sale items. So if we have a special sale going on, like this Friday we have our holler for a dollar sale. So we'll have dollar clothing items outside for mm -hmm. um, the viewers to look at. Great, great. Okay, let's see some of the other stuff that there is in the store or oh, this one's outside. Right. Those are party supplies that were actually donated to us by the student government. Mm -hmm. So they had leftover um, items from festivals that they had on campus, and then they give that to us so that we can distribute it back to the community. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, those are our dollar water bottles. Um, we get those from the donation sites um, around campus, like the Lost and Found um, from mm -hmm. the community centers around campus as well as just donations from students as well. Okay, great. And right over there, we also have our clothing items. So we get shirts, t-shirts, um, dresses, um, books that you can see at the, on the bottom shelf, as well as pants and skirts. Mm -hmm. And then we have a lot of office supplies um, and small electronics like chargers, old cell phones, um, and envelopes, stickers, craft supplies, pens, you name it, we've got it. Uh -huh. And then we also have um, jewelry, so like rings and um, small accessories as well as fabric swatches that are donated to us. Okay, yeah, great. Right. And that is also our seasonal section. Um, so we also have bike helmets because we are the city of Davis. So we just have a lot of bikes um, uh -huh. around the community. Uh -huh. And also we have like our knits, like um, our beanies, as well as rain boots too. Mm -hmm. Great, great. Well, that's great. Let's take a look at also what you have in the store because I think you have some examples of things that you've made in projects. Right, so our upcycling interns, like I said before, um, work on a lot of decoration. We could all, they also create items for utility, but oftentimes they create items that we display around the store to um, that, that also uh, accommodates the season. So right now it's fall, so we have a lot of fall themed crafts. Mm -hmm. So um, we can actually look at our turkey over there, which is made by one of our interns. It's made out of one of our um, books that we have an excess around the store. Uh -huh. And we also have, and he um, made, he got some construction paper and used that to make the tail of the turkey. So wow. it's a fun way to um, use books that you don't really use. And um, this was taught 
uh, in a craft workshop. Oh. So we had plenty of students making book turkeys for the holiday season. Wow, wonderful. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so there's a few other things here. Um, what about uh, this one here? Right, um, so our sales interns, part of the projects that they work on is selling items that we have in excess of. For example, we have a lot of these, um, these color swatches that were donated to us. And what we did to make them more useful for the community was making them into these calendars. Great. So we had our interns make that. Yeah. So this is for the month of November. So <laughs> <laughs> you can count the days till Thanksgiving. Yeah, we have some for <laughs> December as well. Yeah. Uh -huh. You can just fill them in. Oh, OK. That's great. OK. Well, tell me about um, how you get the stock for the store. You mentioned mm -hmm. uh, some uh, on university sources. Um, is that your only source, or is that most of what you get? A lot of what we get is from the university, but we do accept um, items from the community. What people can do is go onto our website and fill out a donation form. Mm -hmm. We accept clothing items, accessory items, as well as um, housewares like towels, and also we accept like small furniture within like the dimensions of like two by two by two. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And um, what about books? Books. We have a lot of books um, already on hand, but we do accept books as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, even textbooks? Yes, definitely. Yes. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like in high demand. Okay. <laughs> okay. Great. Great. So um, how do people find out about the website and what's going on? Yeah, so that is basically what the job of the marketing and outreach interns and social media interns do. The marketing and outreach interns, they table at the M Memorial Union Quad on campus every Wednesday. So we have a table out there and they're actively reaching out with the community and talking about our upcoming events and just shop opportunities at the store. And we also have our social media platforms on our website, our Facebook and our Instagram, which our social medias are in charge of posting pictures of events and publicizing for our sales. Hmm. Great. So uh, I presume a lot of, I presume this is around lunchtime or some time where there would be a lot of traffic around the quad. And uh, faculty and staff and stuff probably come to a lot of your tabling yeah. events as well. That's great. So what about the, uh, you mentioned something about workshops. Are those open to just students or, or anybody? Right. Can so come? the um, workshops are open to the entire Davis community, uh -huh. but oftentimes it's students who do come. Uh -huh. And um, the workshops are just a way to encourage people to come out and make crafts and also show that um, to be environmentally aware, you don't need to be artistically talented or anything. These projects are really simple to make mm -hmm. and um, we just want to show that um, to divert items from landfill you just really have to do you don't really have to be an artist or anything and we teach these uh, students how to make these crafts so mm -hmm. they learn something from our workshops mm -hmm. so in other words you're educating them about reuse yes and to kind of spark their own creativity yeah I remember I saw in the store also slides that come from the photography department. What do students do with those? The photo slides. Yeah. Uh, the photo slides, yeah. We usually use those at our tabling events oh. as a marketing strategy to get attention <laughs> and have people approach our table uh -huh. because that's we have found that's actually a very popular way people approach us. We lay out the photo slides on the table and then everyone approaches us and asks us, oh, what is this for? And then that's our kind of uh, way to get tell them about the store and more about how they can reuse recycled items. Nice, nice. Um, so how do you get your staff for the store? Um, I guess this is mainly student run or all student run? Yeah, uh, so we are part of the student government at UC Davis. So we are a completely student-run organization, mm -hmm. and our team consists of our management team with um, Nicole, our unit director, mm -hmm. me, Lauren, and Vivian. And we also have the marketing outreach and social media interns. 
and then Lauren is in charge of the sales staff, and Vivian is in charge of the upcycling staff. Okay. And they are all completely undergraduate students with a wide range of majors and professional interests. I see. And so how do people find out about the availability of the internships or the, or the managerial positions, in fact? Yeah, so we have on the ASUCD, the student government website, they have job vacancies. Every, every time uh, around the end of the quarter, we open job applications for all the, sta the staff and the sales and mm -hmm. upcycling and marketing team that students can join. And we also publicize at our outreach events. So during tabling, when people ask us about job opportunities, we tell them about it and you know more about what each intern does. Great. Great. So um, how long are these positions for, um, like the manager positions? Well, the, the manager positions, it's usually for the whole school year. Uh -huh. But for the volunteers, it's, it's for a quarter. But they can choose to return for the following quarter. But we accept new interns every single quarter. Wow. Um, and they can apply online like a, a, week, before, a week before the quarter starts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. So do you, do you have a lot of uh, participation and interest? It sounds like you've got a great system going where you can reach out. Um, let's see, how many years has this been going now? Um, so we opened in 2011, okay. but we were in a different location prior, but we moved to our location at the silo just recently, beginning of last year. Wow, because so. that's so <laughs> central to campus. It I think is. you're really right. Yeah. And did, did the sales and everything go up then? Yes, uh, definitely. Yeah, um, I imagine. personally thought the location of the MU was a little bit secluded. Oh, and, yeah. Um, now that it's at the silo, we're just at the center of campus. Mm -hmm. And it's really nice because there's always people passing by checking out, like, what do we have to offer. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, particularly as you're close to the food and also yeah, the internet. Yeah. What is it? Uh, the Sorry. intercultural oh, yeah. center there. There's yeah. a lot of... Of yeah. traffic there, yeah, and there's. It, I noticed there is a great map on your website. Yeah, so if people want to know more, they can go to your um, website, which is aggiereuse.ucdavis.edu, and get some information. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess that's where your calendar is too. Yeah, we have a calendar with all our scheduled events for the quarter, mm -hmm. and it's regularly updated. Mm -hmm. And our website also links to our Instagram posts. So if you check our website, every great. time we upload a new Instagram photo, it will be on there. Oh, great. Does it also link to the Facebook? Um, I believe we have it underneath the contact, mm -hmm. contact information. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. So um, what ways can people in the community participate in this? Um, you mentioned uh, that they could come to workshops. Are there other ways if they were interested, they could um, contribute to the center? Of course, they can always um, donate to our store, filling out a form okay. on um, our online website, and also visiting us and checking the store out and telling others about the store mm -hmm. and um, bring more people to our store. That's great, yeah. So then you're, and you, so you accept donations where you kind of set up an arrangement on with using yes. this online site, and um, and I guess they can buy, and then they can also uh, come to these workshops. Although, as you say, there are a lot of students who come yeah. uh, to those. Yeah, yeah. Well, what what is it that you would like people to take away about the Aggie reuse? Center. What What's the one thing you'd really like them to, to remember? Um, for me, it's not really just a store. Um, it's grown into a community because we're not just people who are, um, mm -hmm. you know, we're not just tools of labor, you know. We're not just working, but we're also developing skill sets together as a team. And um, in the past few years, I've they've come to become part of my family as well. Mm -hmm. So it's actually... Really nice, mm -hmm. and I really come to enjoy working at the store with the mm. great set of people. Mm. And I think I remember hearing that there are um, meetings of the interns regularly, so that must be how this community is built as well. Yes, but yeah. we also have socials, which oh, is great. really integral to the cohesiveness of all the teams, not just within one team, but across all the teams. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great, 
Any other one brief phrase? Right. Well, we're definitely not your average source store since um, we do promote the idea of reuse and sustainability. Mm -hmm. We always have regulars come into the store um, showing us their crafts that they're working on. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah. So you kind of inspire <laughs> yeah. the population. Yeah. yeah. They always give us updates on what crafts they're working on. <laughs> Sometimes they even bring in what they're working on too. And it's just an enjoyable experience for the people working at the store and also like the customers who come in around the same time too. Excellent. I agree with what uh, Vivian and Lauren said. We're definitely not your ordinary thrift shop. I remember one time I was helping clean up for the first crafts workshop we held. And some uh, two people, they attended the workshop, they approached me and they asked, wow, this is so amazing. Thank you so much for hosting this crafts workshop. Mm -hmm. And I was very happy to hear that because I see that all the entire staff and a team, we make a big impact on a campus. That's and really I think it's that sense of community that really helps motivate me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. Well, it's an outstanding, uh, important principle, reuse, upcycling, we have limited resources on the planet, and uh, I'm really grateful for this chance to chat with you about this and to tell our viewers about the existence of the Aggie Reuse Center. I'm so glad also that you're educating students about this, because starting, you can't start too early <laughs> as they get out on their own. This will be a, an outstanding value. Uh, well, I thank you for joining us today, and... Um, We'll be back next time with more in the studio.